One of the most common metering devices for an evaporator coil is a piston, also called an orifice, fixed orifice. You're going to see it a lot at service techs and installers in the field. Maybe not as much on new equipment, but definitely on older equipment. So I want to show you a piston and kind of explain how it works for anybody that's new to the field and needs to learn something about, you know, not just what they're working on, but how it works so you can better understand how to do your job. We're looking at a standard Danfoss style piston that you might see in a Linux unit, a Goodman unit, and a few others. See, there's little grooves down the side, and you'll actually see some numerical information on it as well as we turn around because it'll have a specific size. You see 68. So typically in residential, I'll see pistons anywhere from around 49, 50 on the smaller side, all the way up to almost 100 for the largest ones for a five ton evaporator coil. This one is a 68, so it's right there in the middle. It's probably two tons or two and a half tons, something like that. You can see there's a Teflon ring to seal it right there. And you see the small opening, the larger it is, the larger that numerical designation will be. When a system is in cooling mode or is just a straight air conditioner, Refrigerant will flow this way. It'll push the piston up against the back of the manifold with all the different distributors and capillary tubes. When it pushes it this way, it'll be seated against this ring, sealing everything but the hole in the center. So refrigerant will pass through the center hole, and that's the only way it'll be allowed through. On a heat pump, refrigerant flows the reverse way. It comes through the evaporator coil and comes this way through the piston. It pushes it back and is allowed to flow around the piston through all of these grooves. That's why the piston is not an issue in the heating mode because it's unseated. This gasket isn't sealing it. All the refrigerant is allowed to flow around the piston in these grooves. It'll also flow through the center hole just like it does in cooling, but that way you get the largest amount of flow in heating mode so the piston does not obstruct refrigerant flow. I hope that helps you guys understand, especially you new guys, how the piston works. It's a pretty simple device, pretty reliable device, and typically they don't clog and there's no issues with them. The largest issue that I've seen involving pistons is someone installing the incorrect piston. So make sure every time you install a new system, even if it has a piston that comes with an air handler or coil, you double check and make sure that it is the correct piston for that particular system. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.